Hi, and this is Lisa. Welcome to Reader's Realm number four, Fantasy. We're finishing up Fantasy today, so keep commenting or join now. A new genre will begin next week, so you can start looking for your books, and we're going to do sports. Check out the bottom of this post, and there will be some possibilities that you might want to read for sports, but remember, the book choice is totally yours. So now that we're finishing Fantasy, did you like the ending of your book? Did the magical creatures and humans work together or against each other in your book? Did the magic and fantasy play a key role in the problem? Or were they just kind of a sidelight to make the story interesting? In my book, The Goblin's Puzzle by Andrew S. Chilton, fantasy was definitely a big part of this book. One of the main characters was a goblin and it was cool that while the goblin was helpful, he stayed very true to himself and his goblin ways because he says that goblins and humans can't be friends. But he finds a way to help the humans anyway, sometimes lying so they know to do the opposite because goblins always lie. The thing about this book, though, the problem wasn't really solved with fantasy elements. It wasn't solved with magic or other things. It was solved with logic. The characters had to think through problems, kind of reverse things sometimes, like who's telling the truth and who's not. Uh, the goblin always found a way to reverse things and help, even though he wasn't supposed to. So it was kind of cool that it was logic that made it all work, even though it was a fantasy book. So tell me about yours. I really want to hear what's going on in your books. And remember, we will start next week with sports. So look below for some sports options. Thanks. Bye from Reader's Realm.